Life was serene and peaceful then. The villages had a bountiful harvest, and everyone was content and happy in their lives. Sharima and her husband Daniel lived in a cottage on the outskirts of their village. She wanted to live in the forest she grew up in, the forest that she had played in as a child. Daniel was more than happy to accommodate his lovely bride, and they lived like all other young couples in the splendor of their love. Sharima would go daily into the forest to pick wildflowers for their home. She loved the smell of fresh flowers, and the forest was plentiful. The sun gave way to just enough light to nurture the most lovely of flowers, and the trees sheltered them from the harsh rains that would come in the spring. She would sit by the brook and read stories of adventure, of pirates and travelers, of love and heartbreak. Daniel called her a glorious dreamer, but Sharima had no dreams of adventure. She was quite happy living her peaceful life with her beloved husband. One day, while she went looking for her bouquet for the day, she decided to venture further into the forest to see what she could find. The afternoon sun warmed the cool autumn air, but as she got further and further into the forest, she began to feel a chill. She had her basket full of lovely flowers when she noticed a dark structure in the distance. She rushed to see if her eyes were playing tricks on her, but there it was, a run-down shack of a cottage barely fit for the animals, no less a human being. She noticed a beautiful garden in the front of the cottage, no different than the flowers that grew wild in the forest, but amidst the colors of yellow, purple, blue, and pink stood a single red rose, the most beautiful rose she had ever seen. She knew she had to take it for her bouquet. A rose, the splendor, should never go to waste alone in the forest. It should be admired, she said with an eager smile. She plucked the rose from its earthly home when suddenly she heard a voice coming from within the shack. The door sprang open and there stood an old hag of a woman. What gives you the right to invade my garden without permission? She exclaimed. Sharima was startled and began to apologize. She said, I'm so sorry, madam. I had no idea anyone lived here. It seemed to be deserted, and a rose so beautiful should never be left alone to wither and die without being appreciated. The old woman replied in a huff, Yes, the only rose in the forest was left. You claim to be your own, a rose unlike any other you seek to take to your home. Be gone to your home now, child, for your rose awaits you now. Leave mine upon the ground. Your treasured rose in your dwelling be found. Shirima was amused by her wit and poetic babblings, but quickly dropped the rose at the old woman's feet as she was instructed and raced home straight away to tell Daniel of her adventure. Within what seemed to be moments, Shirima was home. She rushed down the path to the cottage and burst through the door, calling out to Daniel. Completely out of breath from running, she paused, clutching her breast to calm herself from the excitement. She rested her hand on the table in front of her and placed her basket down as she again called for Daniel, but he didn't answer. She walked around the other side of the table, and there she found the clothes that Daniel was wearing on the floor in a heap with a single red rose in its midst. She fell to her knees, and at that moment she knew... It wasn't a silly limerick the old woman was babbling. It was a spell, a spell that turned her beloved Daniel into that dreadful rose. She began crying uncontrollably, for the love of her life was now gone and there lies a reminder of her misdeed. She felt ashamed of her actions, but enraged that the old woman would go to such lengths over a simple flower. She rushed back to the forest where the old woman was found the cottage and the garden were gone. The only thing that remained in its stead was a patch of dried and wilted weeds. Her rage was unbearable, and from that moment, she knew she had to rid this world of evil. <laughs>